Okay, so I bought a Tesla and it is lacking in range. It's supposed to have a range of 568 kilometers, but at 100% charge, I get 463 kilometers. Is that a bad thing? We're about to find out because I'm going to try the battery recalibration procedure that's all over the internet and see if it actually works. Who knows? Stay with me. Check it out. Here we go. It's time to get turbocharged. So I'm just going to jump on the 401 here and head down to my little parking lot spot to, uh, I'm going to get some drone shots and things like that. And I'm going to clean up the car so that I can show you what I bought. And what did I buy? I bought a used Tesla. And some people would say that it has some battery degradation issues because it's missing about 100 kilometers uh, to a charge. And there supposedly is this way that everybody is posting on the internet that says that you can reset the calibration of the batteries. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to wax the car, get some drone shots and make it look all pretty for you guys. And. Uh, probably wondering why would I buy a car that has a hundred kilometers of battery degradation well the simple answer is I don't think it has a hundred kilometers of battery degradation so we're gonna go and we're gonna do the test and see what we can come up with to make it better so for now enjoy the shots so I'm on the 401 here and let me tell you one of the greatest things about a Tesla so far that I like is the autopilot and why do i like that autopilot so much well a because it saved my life once already in my second day that i had the car uh, a van tried to come into my lane and it actually moved me out of the lane and braked for me even though i was still in full control of the vehicle it actually did it for me i saw it coming so it wasn't a big surprise or anything like that but it was nice to know that the car had me protected and that's one of my favorite things about my Tesla so far. Okay, so as you saw, the car is all cleaned up, so now it's time to go for a drive. I have 75% battery, so I'm not going to bore you with the drive, but that's 340 kilometers at the moment. So I'm going to go until I'm at about 55% battery, and then I'm going to head for home and drive around the block until I get really low on battery to see if this actually works. Okay, so as you can see right here, I have a range of 353 kilometers, which is at 78%. So at 78%, what we're going to do is we're going to charge up to 100%. Actually, we're not going to charge up to 100%. I charged up to 100% to 
yesterday and I'm in the middle of running it all down. So we're going to see if running it down below the 10% into the single digits, letting the car sit for three hours, restarting the car or recharging the car to 100%, letting it sit for three hours, and then going for a uh, drive again and see what happens if that's the reset. There's also a second way to reset that they claim, which basically says similar things except for charge to 100%, go down below 10% into the single digits, and then keep your car awake for an hour by pinging it or you know giving your car commands via the door handle or other various commands through the app for one hour, then recharge to 100%. So I know that I get 463 kilometers to a charge. Well, let's get started. All right, so I'm a little while into the drive now on autopilot, still on the 401. I've got 131 kilometers remaining in my charge. I was gonna say in my tank, but that's obviously not the case. And that is 29%. It says that when I get home, I'll have 11%, which is not enough. So I'm gonna have to do some more driving around after I get closer to home and I'm gonna drive it until I hit that limit or threshold where it limits me to about 80 kilometers an hour and then limp my way home and start with the one hour delay is the one I'm gonna start with. And once I get that one hour delay, uh, I'm gonna be you know, trying to keep the car alive or not asleep uh, during that one hour periodically is what the one says. So we'll start with that one. If that doesn't work, we're going to do a second time with the other way where we're charging, then leaving three hours, uh, then charging, then leaving three hours, and uh, so on. <clears throat> so that's where we're at. Well, I'm currently down to 3% or 14 kilometers, and I'm still driving around the block. So I've hit home with nine kilometers, which is 2% battery. Got this awesome battery, very low warning. And it's also telling me that sentry mode is no longer available. And that is because the battery is so low. I expected this 100%. Now I'm going to let it rest for an hour while I'm pinging it periodically and then I'll come back out and plug it into the charger and see what happens if I gain any range. So as you can plainly see I'm down to 2% here. I'm sorry about the uh, video quality. I'm using my phone but uh, we'll see after 7 hours and 15 minutes if it brings me up above 463 because the app says that I'm only going to get 350 now which is disturbing to say the least. 350 kilometers? Really? Come on, I can't lose another 110K. Jesus. So as you can see by the app, it says I'm gonna be charging to now 550 kilometers. That's only an 18 kilometer loss over 71,000 kilometers. But it's not done charging yet. That's just the app updating to see what's happening. So I'll give it the full charge time, six hours and 50 minutes, and we'll see if that is actually factual. I sure hope it is, because if it is, this is gonna make a lot of Tesla owners very happy. So I suppose you're all wondering whether or not this actually worked. The simple answer is no, it didn't work for me. I did not gain any kilometers back. I'm sorry, I forgot to uh, take an image of how many kilometers I got, but it was 465. So technically I gained two kilometers back. But what did I learn? Well, after phoning Tesla, Tesla said, uh, plug it in and charge it to 100% and drain it down every single day or every single time you drive it to single digits and plug it in and charge it to 100% again for about a month. And then I started thinking, well, what we know about Teslas or any electric car is that they actually lose range on the highway. So I looked at the number of kilometers on the car versus how old it was. The car is only two years old and uh, just barely two years old. And it had 69,000 kilometers on it. So 70,000 kilometers in two years is 35,000 kilometers a year. 
So then I have to ask myself, is it a battery degradation problem? Or is it because this car was mostly driven on the highway for those number of kilometers to be attained in two years? And what I've come up with is it's probably simply uh, the fact that the car has been driven on the highway a whole pile. And I drive strictly on the highway to go to my job. And so therefore I'm not gonna gain any kilometers back. But what I can tell you is that I've done a bunch of upgrades to the car. I've added a spoiler, a tilt screen, a hand shower screen. I've added the steering yoke, floor mats, uh, phone holder, uh, wireless battery charger, uh, compartment organizers, and also a wireless charger for the iWatch and for my AirPod Pros. So look forward to those videos because I'm going to be showing them off. I didn't do any installation videos on those. I apologize for that, but there will be lots more videos coming on this Tesla and the how-tos and how to use it. But I'm Turbo the Tech Nerd and I appreciate you watching. And don't forget to be checking out this video here and this playlist over here. We'll see you in the next one.